Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to another quick DaVinci Resolve tutorial for the iPad version. In this version, I'll show you how you can do picture in text, and let's just jump right into it. So first off, we are going to take a title or a text. Uh, either we can use the text, normal text, or the text plus. In this case, we'll just use the text plus. I'm going to drag that down to my timeline, and here I have that. Now I'll just need a piece of footage and we're going to take this clip here and I'm going to put in an in and out point. So let's just push E for in and let's say something like that for an out point. And I'm going to take this and make sure that this is on top of our clip. Then I'll just go in here and I will we'll make the length of the video fit the length of the text. And let's just get right into this. So first off, right now, we can't see anything because of the video layer here in top. So there's two ways we can deselect this. If you have a keyboard, you can just push D and it will deselect. If not, you can just go over here and push this icon right here and it's going to do the same thing. So first off, let's fix our text. I'm going to go into the text or select that, go up to the inspector and I'm going to change the text to something else. I'm just going to write something here. This is VR. Uh, you will need to find a font that's pretty big. If you want some specific uh, font, you can have a look at the video I did right up here in the top corner. I did a video all about that, so check that out if you want to. So we're going to check this and I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to size it up so it will fill the screen, something like that. You could go in and mess around with the, the tracking here so it will be more however you want it or the line spacing and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that. I will though go into the shading because I am using a text plus and I'll do like a red outline. Remember just to enable this right here and then we can go down and change the thickness of that to whatever we want, something like that. We can also change the color, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do so. Okay, so let's continue. For now, I want to see my video again. So I'm just going to push here or push D. And now the text has disappeared. So I'm going to select the video clip and then I'll go into my composite mode and I'm going to change the composite mode into darken. So now we actually have the video inside. So if we want to change something around with the video, we can, for instance, just go up to the transform and we can zoom it down a little bit or we can zoom it up and change the position. So maybe we want to have the girl here somewhere like that. So now we have this picture inside of text effect we can use for whatever we want. Actually, we can do this in a different way as well. So I'll actually just show you the other way of doing the same effect. And we're going to do the setup once again. I'm going to just go in here. I'm just going to take, in this time, I'll just take a regular text. I'm going to put that on the bottom layer again, and I'll go into my media and I'm going to take the clip here with the girl. I'm just going to take in another portion. Let's take it from here and uh, like that. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be on top of my text here, just like last time. And again, I'm going to select the clip here and I'm just going to deselect it. I'll go into my text and then um, just going to write something else. Let's just do something more simple this time, just VR. And again, I'll find a different font. Let's see, again, something that's thick. And then I'm just going to size this up very big and I'm going to keep it like it is, just like that. Now I want just to go into the settings again. I'll go down to the composite mode. And in the composite mode, I'll make the text, if you just go and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have this foreground, alpha, invert alpha, luma, and invert luma. I'm just going to make my text a alpha channel. Then I'll go up to the top clip. I'm going to add the video in again. And now in the composite mode, I'll go in 
I'm going to change this down here to foreground. And now we absolutely have this pretty cool VR effect here. Hey, and we might as well just do a little, uh, little effect out of this. So if I go to the text layer, and I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm in the settings here, I can then just uh, do a zoom, zoom through effect. So if we go in here, I'm going to put in keyframes up here in the top because I'm going to put in keyframes for all of the things. And um, I'm just going to push the spacebar. And let's say when we are here, I want this to zoom all the way through. And I'm just going to change the position a little bit. Make it zoom more through. Takes a little time. There's a little finessing into this, but uh, I just want to make sure that it's zoomed through the letters so it will kind of fly through like this. Okay, let's have a look. So we have this here and it's going to fly through the text. Of course, you could make it stay there longer, but this is just how you could do that kind of an effect. Pretty fast, pretty easy inside of DaVinci Resolve for the iPad version. If you like this kind of content and want to learn more about filmmaking tips and tricks and stuff like that, I do have a homepage. You can check that out down in the description below. It's just a site made for creators and filmmakers in mind. So jump in and get some free resources right there or continue watching this channel. Anyway, if you did find this video useful, please do hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified, every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.